Perfenazine, Wikipedia article audio. Perfenazine is a typical antipsychotic drug. Chemically, it is classified as a piperazinal phenothiazine. Originally marketed in the U.S. as trilophone, it has been in clinical use for decades. Medical Uses Perfenazine is roughly five times as potent as chlorpromazine, thus perfenazine is considered a medium-potency antipsychotic. In low doses it is used to treat agitated depression. Fixed combinations of perfenazine and the tricyclic antidepressant amitriptyline in different proportions of weight exist. When treating depression, perfenazine is discontinued as fast as the clinical situation allows. Perfenazine has no intrinsic antidepressive activity. Several studies show that the use of perfenazine with floxidin in patients with psychotic depression is most promising although floxidin interferes with the metabolism of perfenazine, causing higher plasma levels of perfenazine and a longer half-life. In this combination the strong antiemetic action of perfenazine attenuates floxidin-induced nausea and vomiting, as well as the initial agitation caused by floxidin. Both actions can be helpful for many patients. Antipsychotic Effectiveness Perfenazine has been used in low doses as a normal or minor tranquilizer in patients with a known history of addiction to drugs or alcohol, a practice which is now strongly discouraged. Side Effects Perfenazine has sedating and anxiolytic properties, making the drug useful for the treatment of agitated psychotic patients and, in high doses, for patients with life-threatening catatonia a state in which the patients are extremely agitated, but unable to express themselves. In this situation perfenazine may be used together with electroconvulsive therapy and correction of electrolytes and fluids in the body. Pharmacokinetics A valuable off-label indication is the short-time treatment of hyperemesis gravidarum, in which pregnant women experience violent nausea and vomiting. This problem can become severe enough to endanger the pregnancy. As perfenazine has not been shown to be teratogenic and works very well, it is sometimes given orally in the smallest possible dose. Pharmacodynamics Perfenazine is used to treat psychosis. Perfenazine effectively treats the positive symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hallucinations and delusions, but its effectiveness in treating the negative symptoms of schizophrenia, such as flattened effect and poverty of speech, is unclear. Earlier studies found the typical antipsychotics to be ineffective or poorly effective in the treatment of negative symptoms, but too recent. Large-scale studies found no difference between perfenazine and the atypical antipsychotics. A 2015 systematic review compared perfenazine with other antipsychotic drugs. Formulations As a member of the phenothiazine type of antipsychotics, perfenazine shares in general all allergic and toxic side effects of chlorpromazine. A 2015 systematic review of the data on perfenazine conducted by the Cochrane Collaboration concluded that there were no convincing differences between perfenazine and other antipsychotics in the incidence of adverse effects. Perfenazine causes early and late extrapyramidal side effects more often than placebo, and at a similar rate to other medium potency antipsychotics and the atypical antipsychotic risperidone. When used for its strong antiemetic or antivertignosic effects in cases with associated brain injuries, it may obscure the clinical course and interferes with the diagnosis. High doses of perfenazine can cause temporary dyskinesia. As with other typical antipsychotics, Permanent or lasting tardive dyskinesia is a risk. Interactions 
it has an oral bioavailability of approximately 40% and a half-life of 8 to 12 hours, and is usually given in two or three divided doses each day. It is possible to give two-thirds of the daily dose at bedtime and one-third during breakfast to maximize hypnotic activity during the night and to minimize daytime sedation and hypotension without loss of therapeutic activity. Perfenazine has the following binding profile towards cloned human receptors unless otherwise specified. Acronyms, ARS Rat Striatum Receptor, RB Rat Brain Receptor. It is sold under the brand names Trilophone and Etrophon slash Trieval slash Triptafen. A brand name in Europe is decent in pointing to the fact that perfenazine is approximately five times more potent than chlorpromazine. Usual oral forms are tablets and liquid concentrate. The perfenazine injectable USP solution is intended for deep intramuscular injection for patients who are not willing to take oral medication or if the patient is unable to swallow. Due to a better bioavailability of the injection, two-thirds of the original oral dose is sufficient. The incidence of hypotension, sedation, and extrapyramidal side effects may be higher compared to oral treatment. The I.M injections are appropriate for a few days but oral treatment should start as soon as possible. In many countries, depot forms of perfenazine exist. One injection works for one to four weeks depending on the dose of the depot injection. Depot forms of perfenazine should not be used during the initial phase of treatment as the rare neuroleptic malignant syndrome may become more severe and uncontrollable with this form. Extrapyramidal side effects may be somewhat reduced due to constant plasma levels during depot therapy. Also, patient compliance is sure, as many patients do not take their oral medication, particularly if feeling better once improvement in psychosis is achieved. Floxidin causes higher plasma levels and a longer half-life of perfenazine therefore a dose reduction of perfenazine might be necessary. Perfenazine intensifies the central depressive action of drugs with such activity. A dose reduction of perfenazine or the other drug may be necessary. In general, all neuroleptics may lead to seizures in combination with the opioid tramadol. Perfenazine may increase the insulin needs of diabetic patients. Monitor blood glucose levels of insulin-dependent patients regularly during long-term treatment.